Hey guys, welcome again to Fula Bites. I'm Jessica and today we're finally going to show you guys our version of carne guisado, which is beef stewed. So you just pretty much buy some good old steak. Keep in mind that there are many different versions of this popular dish in Dominican Republic. So, vamonos. Let's go. Let's marinate the steak first. I actually pre-recorded marinating a few weeks ago and forgot to record the actual cooking part. So I'm going to do one round of steak being seasoned and then take out the ones I made a couple of nights ago and show you guys how to cook those. First add one tablespoon of ground garlic powder to both sides of the meat. Now add one and a half teaspoons of salt, two capfuls of red wine vinegar, Quickly add a dash of onion powder on one side of the meat only. One tablespoon of Adobo's all-purpose seasoning. Okay, now we're going to season our cebollas, or vegetables, before we actually add them to the steak. So I cut up one cup of carrots, one and a half cups of sweet onions, one cup of green pepper, and then finally one cup of tomatoes. Now over the vegetables, sprinkle one packet of Sazon Goya and sprinkles of dried oregano. Add them right to the meat and tuck everything right on in. Just a couple of more steps. Add one can of tomato paste and then top off with some fresh cilantro leaves. Cover and marinate for about two hours. Here's the new batch I did the other night, so let's cook these. In a pot on medium high heat, add three caps of vegetable oil and burn your one teaspoon of sugar just like we did for the boiled guisado. Now go ahead and add your meat, leaving just a tad bit of those veggies behind. We'll be adding them later on. We managed to squeeze four in our pot and brought over some of the paste and veggies. Keep in mind that beef steak actually gets a little smaller while it's cooking, so don't leave one behind if you can avoid it. Watch closely here though. Once you got a filled pot, add a little water, cover and continue to cook on high heat for several minutes. Okay, let's flip these babies over and then add the rest of the veggie paste to the pot. Continue to watch what happens next. Once it dries out a bit, go ahead and add more water, and then turn on the pot and continue to cook on low heat. Remember, steak doesn't take that long to cook when it's covered, especially when you're adding water. A meal like this usually takes one to one and a half hours to be done. This really depends on how thick yours is, so keep that in mind. This is just like the chicken version. Keep checking it, add more water if you want, but definitely go according to taste. This is about done. We also kept the top off if you've noticed. It's a lot more juicier than the chicken version. So this is exactly what you should be looking for. Take the steak out first and then pour the liquid over it. We eat ours with rice, beans, plantains, whatever you want, etc. So do enjoy. I know Chorus did. <laughs> See you all again on Food Love Bites.